quick, quick, guys. Nice, nice outside today. Yeah. Nice out every day. That's not true. <laughs> But how, what do you think of the team's readiness heading into camp? After I the, think uh, regular season. we're all ready and we're all so excited for ring night. Don't take these for granted because they're rare to come by. And, <clears throat> and I'm, we're going to soak it all up. It's going to be so much fun. What are you looking forward to with ring night? <coughs> uh, seeing that banner being hung up and just the competition that the Thunder will bring out in us. You... Um, have been shooting really well, especially from from three. Uh, is that just a matter of? Here's some knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> is that just like uh, you feeling fresh, or is it what's all the above? Uh, definitely comfort level with offense uh, is at an all-time high, being my fifth year in Steve's system, and um, and just being with my team. I mean, we have great chemistry, so we know where we're going to be at, and we just. Uh, yeah, I just feel great. You know, I worked hard this summer to stay in good shape, so uh, jumpers feeling good. Is there a difference that you can feel in terms of spacing and movement that you have Damien out there instead of Zaza? Uh, yeah, they both do certain things well. I mean, Zaza is probably a little more skilled as far as passing and playmaking. But Damien is a much better athlete and uh, plays so well above the rim. Definitely miss Za, but I know Damien's gonna step in and be great for us. He's uh, been great in preseason. I'm excited for him. Big year for him. So you saw what Za told you to save something for the season. What's that? Did he? Yeah, he tweeted out, said, "Save something for the season, bro." <laughs> <laughs> this is in Seattle. After Seattle oh, first, really? first I didn't get Seattle. on my Twitter. I barely <laughs> get on Twitter anymore. I need to get more active. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> Because so, so, soaking it all in, when, when you see the banner go up, what do you think about? Oof. Um, think about everything from my childhood, you know, to uh, the journey it took to get here. <clears throat> and um, thinking about getting being, when I was drafted by the Warriors to have a third banner going up, I definitely did not see that happening. So. It's, uh, it's been a special, special time these eight years, and hopefully the next eight are even better. Having said that, in the vein of not taking anything for granted, uh, uh, how do you look at this season, knowing that you know it, 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 the, the, the role can't last forever? Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, guys will move on, whatever. I mean, I, how do you, how do you look at it as far as just uh, this maybe being uh, one of the last go rounds? Uh, just. Uh, you know, we want to do it for the fans of Oakland. Um, been so loyal to us for 40 plus years, wherever it's been since they've been in the been in Oracle. And um, so that definitely helps with this season. It's uh, leaving a big legacy behind in Oakland because uh, people might not get to see us as much next year in, in San Francisco. And um, just enjoying this every night. We have such a special group. We play in front of such amazing fans. And every game is so much fun because it's such an amazing atmosphere. You know, it's not like we're playing in front of six, seven thousand people a night. It's sold out. It doesn't matter who we play, preseason, finals. It's uh, it's easy to come to work when you've got a fan base like we have. Clay, how much do you think you guys will feed off that throughout the year? The, the fact that it is <coughs> the last time you'll be here, at least. Um, I think we all will feed off it. That's one of the things Steve talked about in our first meeting as a team this year. It was our love for Oakland. And the fans, I mean, just, I look at the pictures on the wall, I see the parades, you know, just driving around town, seeing how happy people are, it gives me, it gives us motivation to keep going. And uh, although we're, we're definitely the base team, but um, this, yeah, a lot of, there's a lot of weight. I don't know, man. That's, that's what I got for it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. What about the brotherhood? Though? I mean, what about the, you guys, the guys, the team, and? Uh, yeah. Uh, just, just, just keeping the band together yet another yeah. year. And yeah. Well, you know, you don't want to look too far into the future. You just want to enjoy the now because we got something so great here. And you're right. It definitely is a brotherhood, especially in, when you win championships with your teammates. Man, it's uh, that's a bond you'll have forever. And um, yeah, it's great. I mean, whatever happens, I can call these guys my brothers and my teammates the rest of my life. Nicole, what do you make that there still wasn't any resolution with Pat you know, through training camp? Yeah, it's unfortunate, but I just want to wish Pat, I just wish him well. I just hope 
I know he's got a bright future, and um, I just hope it works out for him because he really is a good guy, and I uh, miss him around here. Got any bets on the line yet? Like last year, you and Zaza had the bets. Oh, dunks. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely have more dunks than Zaza this year, so <laughs> I'm definitely running that back. No question. Did, did he pay up last year? I had to pay up. Unfortunately, oh, I lost. Pretty embarrassing. I'm not proud of it, but you know it happens. Some fans have noticed that you have a lighter stance in your shots sometimes. Is that wow. something that you have actually done? Uh, I just kind of been doing it since I was a kid. I think it gives me a good base to explode. And um, yeah, just always had a wide stance. I never really, really thought about it, but it just kind of happened naturally. So not, not so much wider this season than other seasons? Nah, does it look like it? I guess some people thought maybe uh, <laughs> I think it's the same. Clay, you guys have such a good thing going, right, and a lot of talent, but entering the season, are there any question marks you might have or things you feel like the team needs to sharpen up on? Mm, not really. I think if we do what we did last year and the year before, it'll be a beautiful year again. So I think we just got to stay focused and um, enjoy every night do those two things. What Play with joy and focus will be great. So what do you think is the key to having <coughs> that and, and not kind of falling into complacency at certain points? Just realizing how blessed we are to be playing basketball for a living and what we do makes people happy. That, that um, So that's what I mean motivates me is being able to go to work and put joy on people's face and be a role model. It's a, it's a pretty unique situation we're all in, so we try to make the most of it. You know what your pop said about the Lakers two games <laughs> next preseason? He said that's the first two of 13. <laughs> <laughs> Guy loves running his mouth. <laughs> so I don't know. He can keep talking. <laughs> He's good at it. Yeah. <laughs> what about your beard, man? What's the state of it? Uh, how, long you, how, gonna let it how long are you going to let well, it grow? I mean, my barber's coming over tonight, so uh -oh. you always uh -oh. just have to see what uh -oh. you got in the store. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right.